everyone, this is Rosemary Anderson and Colleen Tew coming to you on 59 Minutes with our New Year's Eve Blast from the Past special. Tonight on 59 Minutes, we will be looking at the 90s, highlighting political events, sports, and even your celebrity scandals. We'll also be showing you an exclusive interview with Bill Clinton's mistress herself. Wow. I know, it's Scandalous. All right, now we are going to go to Oscar and Michaela with Domestic Affairs. Oscar and Michaela. Colleen and Rosie. As you know, these past eight years have been a roller coaster ride for domestic affairs. First, we have the 92 election. During the campaign, Clinton focused mainly on domestic issues, while Bush attacked Clinton's character and <clears throat> less about what he could do for America. Clinton won 370 electoral votes, while Bush only won 168. I remember that. That's, that uh, I remember that. It must have been such a surprise to Clinton and to the American public that he won by such a landslide, considering that it was Bush's second term. Another surprise was when he admitted to the Monica Lewinsky affair later on in his presidency. I remember that situation. I cannot believe that our president would do such a thing, to have an affair and to be unfaithful to our first lady. On in the show, we're going to have an interview with Monica Lewinsky about the whole affair situation. Okay, next we have, um, in 1993, on February 26, 1993, the World Trade Center was bombed. Six people were killed and a thousand were left injured. Four defendants were later convicted and sentenced to 240 years in jail and each fined $250,000. In 97, there was a Heaven's Gate mass suicide in Rancho Santa Fe near San Diego, California. 39 members, ranging from teenagers to the elderly, committed suicide thinking they'd be sent up to the spaceship behind the passing hale Bop comet. Okay. Lastly, on April 20th, 1999, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold of Columbine High School in Littleton, Colorado, killed 12 students and a teacher. Then they later killed themselves. The Columbine attack was a complete shocker to me. I, I could not comprehend how two students could take the lives of 12 students and a teacher. If something like this could happen in Colorado, it could happen in California. That was definitely a tragedy. So, this is Michaela and Oscar with Domestic Affairs. Now back to Colleen and Rosie. Thank you, Oscar and Michaela. Wow, you know that Columbine tragedy was, was so sad. I remember when that happened. Yeah, you know, stuff, the horrible stuff So what do, you, what do you think about this whole blink Bill Clinton and... Um, oh my gosh, I think that, you know, I think that he was a great president. He was. But, you know, but he, people just totally blew this whole thing out of out proportion. Out of proportion, You know, right? sometimes a guy just needs a really good... Yes. Anyway, anyways, so after this quick break, we will get back to you with sports. Thank you. So stay tuned after these few messages. Just one look, and I feel so high. Welcome back everyone, I am Colleen Tew. And I'm Rosemary Anderson again. And now we will be going to Alejandro Martinez and Oscar Rodriguez for sports. Alex and Oscar, take it away. Thanks Colleen and Rosie. Welcome and good evening, I'm Alex. And I'm Oscar. And on this special segment we're going to be reviewing the sports highlights of the last decade. To kick it off, we have the baseball highlights. Seattle Mariners own Ken Griffey Jr was the top home run hitter of the decade. He made the All-American League four years, three of which were consecutive. Overall, he finished with a whopping 200 home runs, which is more than any player at the time. You know, another up-and-coming player is Barry Bonds. This player currently plays for the San Francisco Giants and has exhibited a tremendous ability and talent at this sport. In 1993, 
he had an unbelievable 26 home runs and 123 RBIs. Now, for a brand new player, that's unbelievably amazing. We can surely expect great things from him as his career takes off. Another team that has had major advances is the Dallas Cowboys. The football team has had the most Super, most Super Bowl wins of the decade, the most memorable being Super Bowl 27, where the Cowboys demolished the Buffalo Bills, 52 to 17. This being the highest scoring game of the decade with a 35 point difference. If you ask me, the Cowboys were in it to win it this past few years. But let us not forget the 1994 World Cup that the United States hosted from June 17th to July 17th. The United States very successfully staged the 15th FIFA World Cup that became the best attended so far. Brazil celebrated their first World Cup championship since 1970 and Sweden came in third. But that's all the time we have. Now back to Colleen and Rosie at the desk. Thank you, Alex and Oscar. And now let's go to Colleen with International Affairs. So, in 1997, Princess Diana was killed in an automobile accident in Paris. And in that same year, Hong Kong ceded from England to Communist China. Can you believe that? Um, 1998, Durham Scrotter led the Social Democratic Party to victory in power by... by... Chancellor Helmut Kohl and his Christian Democratic Party. In that same year, Massimo Di Alma, a former communist, <laughs> became Italy's prime minister. So that's it for your international affairs. Thank you, Colleen. That was so good. Thank you. Now we will have a couple commercials and when we come back we will be looking at a music video by Britney Spears. And that long awaited interview with Monica Lewinsky. Alright. Cut. Oh my gosh. Can I get some coffee over here? I'm so tired. Really? Uh, you look tired. Are those the eye bags I see? Okay, oh my god. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you just back off on the roll. You know what, Rosie? I thought we were friends, and as a friend, I feel that I should tell you, like, you need to do something with those eye bags, because it's not cute on camera, like. So, so if we're such good friends, then, then it would be okay if I told you that I think that you're a big slut. A slut? You know what I think this is, Rosie? I think this is you being jealous, because Oscar didn't want to date you in the first place. He turned you down. Okay? I'm sorry if, like, you're jealous, but he wants me, not oh, you. Oh, and why does he want you? You know what? I don't even want to work with you anymore. Like, I don't want to work with you like, either. I quit. Like, I, I, I quit, quit too. I'm gone. And, and we're back in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 my gosh. Uh, with her music video, Hit Me Baby, <laughs> one more time. Hi, Does that sound um, familiar, Colleen? <laughs> Hit Me Baby, one more time. Play the damn music video! Good job, Britney Spears. That was a good song. Again, that was Hit Me Baby One More Time. Speaking of Britney Spears. Wait, didn't, wasn't she dating that one guy from that one music video or boy band in the 90s? No, Colleen, that was you. Yes, it was 
Justin Timberlake, yeah. Oh, that boy yeah. band. That boy band. So, like, the 90s is very, like, you know, boy bandish, and all these little stars were coming from the Mickey Mouse club. In sync, too. Yes, in sync. sync. That's where Justin came from, that's right, yeah. In sync, that was the, that was the good stuff. Yep. So, um, speaking another, of gossip, yep, Rosie, another gossip column, um, OJ Simpson was tried and found innocent of two counts of murder of Nicole Simpson and Ron Goldman. Two counts, he was found innocent. Two counts, that is, how do you, I'm not even going to go into that, but wasn't he tried again in, um, 98 by the civil court this time and 97, 97. Uh, yeah, he was he was actually found guilty this time. Uh, yeah. Who was his attorney? Was it Kardashian? It was Kardashian. Kardashian. Yeah. That's cool. That was a very. But cool anyway, time. Um, now with our fashion segment, um, we will have Jacqueline Rousseau doing the fashion. Jacqueline, take it away. Thanks, Rosie and Colleen. I don't know why they call me Jacqueline Rousseau. I mean, I'm not really French. But I'm going to be talking to you about fashion. Now, first we have, of the 90s, first we have a cut sweater of some kind off the shoulders. Super cute. Wear it with uh, jeans and some, what are those things called? Um, Chucks, Chucks, there we go. Alrighty. Then you have your cardigan. Now these you can wear with just about anything. You can a dress, uh, you know, tights, tights are good with boots and um and a hat. So all right, there we go. And then, of course, we have another sort of thing that's like a cropped waist midriff thing. You know, Britney Spears totally started that whole trending thing where you and Christina Aguilera. Um, all right, that's that's that. Um, bleached jeans. Now that that was a big thing then. Um, high waisted mostly. But um yeah, that's you can wear we these with any type of shirt. Though the all the shirts that I've showed you, that's that. Then for men, that was for women, if you didn't already guess, this is for men. Um we have kind of a retro going here, but um it's collared loose shirts, and they're usually tucked in with um, docker kind of things like this. And um, and they fit a little tight, but that that that's just style. So yeah, that's pretty much most of the fashion. Now let's go back to uh, you, Rosie and Colleen. Thank you, Jackie, for that great segment on fashion from the 90s. Now we have the original trailer from the Disney movie Aladdin. That dates all the way back from 1992. Now this movie was great. It was. I remember when that first came out. I was one of the first people to buy the movie ticket. Yeah, yeah um, <laughs> I really doubt that. But... This was a great movie. It's personally one of my favorites. No so one asked you. So enjoy.
trust me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? That was a great trailer, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Now, for the long-awaited interview with Monica Lewinsky by our one and only Felipe Ronaldo. Felipe, take it away. Thank you, Rosie Colleen. I'm Felipe. This is Monica. Lewinsky. Hi. Thanks for having me. Uh, Monica, today I have a couple questions for you regarding your uh, affair with um, our president. Okay. Uh, do you think your actions affected the presidency from the standpoint of decision making? I don't even want to speculate that our actions actually had an impact on his presidency or any actions he made while as president. Um, when was the last time you spoke to our president, Bill Clinton? It was around the end of January. I actually called him to get a recommendation letter for a Revlon job. Uh, do, you, do you have any last words to the public and to the Clinton family for your actions? I do recognize where I went wrong, and I do not expect for Chelsea or Hillary Clinton to forgive me but I want them to know that I do sincerely apologize for my actions and for the pain that I caused them. Thank you, Monica. That's all we have for today. Back to you, Rose and Colleen. So that concludes our New Year's Eve Blast from the Past special for the night. I'm Colleen Tew. And I'm Rosemary Anderson. Tune in next week for another segment of 59 Minutes. Macarena, tu cuerpo para dar una alegría y cosa buena. Dar un poco de tu alegría, Macarena.